Fitness Circuit is a stylish anime inspired take on motion controlled exercise gaming for Nintendo Switch and brings with it a simple formula with a specific premise to get you healthier and easily get you exercise in your life. The entire aim of this game is to get you 10 minutes of exercise three times a week and that is the premise behind it and it instantly makes it one of the more accessible titles for exercise on Nintendo Switch. It also utilizes what we call super circuits. This style of training essentially swaps between aerobic cardio exercises and anaerobic strength moves in order to maximize exercise potential within a short period of time. The circuit style means you do one set of each exercise, have a rest and then repeat for as many sets as required. This is a useful system because the lower rest periods mean that you get more exercise in a shorter period of time. And that's useful for those with busy lives. It sets up a great expectation and there are plenty of cool features to dive into like online multiplayer sessions and arguably the best custom training mode since Ring Fit Adventure. So this is my full thoughts as a personal trainer on Fitness Circuit for Switch and I'm happy to tell you that the lovely people at Spike Chunsoft did send me the game early so I've had plenty of time to really put my thoughts into words and give you a full proper review. Now let's start with those wonderful exercises. There are 45 different exercises within this game, categorized between cardio and strength, and the motion detection for the moves are done entirely with the Joy-Cons which are held in your hand similarly to games like Knockout Home Fitness and Fitness Boxing 2. These moves are all cued pretty well by the instructors with good tips and a well thought out training mode to accurately show and explain how your body is supposed to move in each exercise. Here's the first thing to note, um, hand position is incredibly important in this game, more so than any other fitness game I've really encountered on the Switch. If you don't have your hands in the right position, unfortunately it's not going to fully detect your movements. So it's really important to make sure that you are watching what the instructor on the screen is doing with their hands in order to actually get it to detect properly. Sometimes, in very limited scenarios, this is detrimental to your physical form because you're spending too much time concentrating on trying to get the motion to detect rather than actually do the exercise properly. So it's way more important to do the exercise properly than get it to actually give you the points on the game, okay? I'll go into it more in a little bit. Now the exercises are not just limited to moves with your arms though, no, not at all. There are moves like wide squat, bent over row, backwards lunge, butt kicks, step jabs, toe touch kicks, leg balance, and so many more. There is a huge, rich variety of different movements that feel fun to do. There's definitely a good range of movement here. And of course, as with uh, any fitness game, there are certain moves which are way more effective than others. And I would argue for the most part that the cardio section of this game is better than the strength section, but there are two main reasons for me saying this. Firstly, the lack of resistance with certain moves hurts their potential. You see, the point of certain exercises is to be done with weights or resistance in order to create adequate stress on the muscle to create the micro tears that let us strengthen those muscles. The Joy-Cons don't give you the right amount of resistance to trigger this properly. Some of the strength moves are fine without the resistance, you know, your leg based ones really uh, are the main ones, but then you've got some moves like your bent over row or your chest press and they just do not have enough resistance to actually activate the muscle effectively enough. It will give you the basics of the movement mechanics and the on-screen model shows you what muscles should be being activated so you can tense accordingly, but that actual strength building element is missing for a fair few of the strength moves. Secondly, in order to make certain moves more effective, they've added aerobic elements to them, which in some cases take away from the strength element. A case in point is the arm curl. There's almost more of a focus on the aerobic element of moving side to side or swinging your arms, which burns additional calories, but doesn't actually do anything as far as strength generation goes. With that said, there are some of the strength moves that are perfectly fine. Leg balance is a standout to me because the movement detection is good, it works your hip flexibility and single leg balance, and it's just good for the majority of exercises. There are quite a few that work flexibility as a facet of strength, and that's a pretty noteworthy thing in my opinion. On the flip side, of course, the cardio moves are all pretty, pretty damn good actually. I don't really have too much in the way of complaints, they all raise your heart rate as expected, some of the movement detection, as I said, a little bit janky, but the main thing that causes a detriment to it is the fact that when you do an exercise you then go into a results screen which gives you experience for your character and then it loads into the next exercise. It would have been much better to cut down those parts and just have one exercise, one exercise, one exercise and then at the end of the set get all your experience at the end so that you weren't kind of messing around in between exercises. It really lets your heart rate drop which is a little bit frustrating especially if you're trying to do a proper circuit. The concept is good though. You can create fun aerobic circuit sessions here that give a good enough workout and do raise your heart rate especially if you work hard enough. So the training and the exercises are good 
when that motion detection works. I, I know I've, I've said it earlier, but I really have to stress that even in some of the best case scenarios, the movement detection won't work properly if you have your hands in the wrong position. And that can be a little bit frustrating, especially for certain moves. It is definitely one of the weaker parts of the game. And I do hope with future updates that Spike Chunsoft do update this and really make a little bit of work in making those moves detect properly. Now, I did find some workarounds for some of the moves that are really bad so that you can still get the right muscles activating with the move detection working. So I will be making a video with that. Make sure you hit subscribe to get that video when it comes and to get more fitness and gaming content. Now, if you've ever seen a review from me about a fitness game, you will know that I'm super picky about my warm ups and cool downs because a lot of them miss the core concept of what a warm up should be, and what a cool down should be. Fitness Circuit nails it though. The key to a good warm up is dynamic movement and warming up muscles used in that specific workout. And a good cool down will use good static stretching in order to stretch the muscle fascia properly and assist in recovery. In my opinion, as a personal trainer, the warm ups and cool downs in this game are really adept, stretching lots of vital areas effectively and doing well thought out progressions within those stretches. Honestly, it's a gold flipping star from me. It makes me so happy. You can see there's a massive smile on my face. It's just really great to see a game nail the warm warm ups and cool downs when so many have failed. And you know what else makes me really happy? The variety of game modes available in this game. We have daily workout, which is exactly what you've come to expect from a fitness game. The key thing here being the level of customization that you get after a few sessions. The advanced settings let you play with basic sets, goals, what body parts to train on, and an adaptive setting to alter the difficulty as you progress with your training with this game. The other great thing is the training mode that I mentioned earlier. You can select to exclude certain exercises, meaning that the daily workouts won't program them in for you, which is great if you're injured or struggle with certain ranges of movement. It's a good, effective program as well, and whilst some of the exercise order isn't the way that I would personally do it, it is still effective for the ranges of movement and the type of exercise you are trying to get within that short period of time. If you do want something a little bit more personalized, well, custom circuit is exactly what you need. The custom playlists allow you to choose the moves that you want from the ones you've unlocked, choose how many sets, and just work out with them. This is fun and effective and lets you choose exercises that suit your goals even more, use your own exercise structures, and avoid exercises that you don't want. It actually works really similarly to Ring Fit Adventure, to the point that really they've just taken the core concept and almost copied and pasted it into Fitness Circuit, but you know, if it's not broke, don't fix it. But the thing that they did do is they actually added to it, which is fantastic, because you can take these circuits and you can do them against your friends. That's right, we've got online multiplayer in this game. Multiplayer allows you to exercise with your friends on your Nintendo Switch friend list across the world, and you can enjoy challenging them with different workouts that you've made. I didn't get a lot of opportunity to play this mode, and I unfortunately messed up the recording, so I didn't get any footage, but you essentially compete for best score. It's a fun feature, and it's the first game on the Switch that I can really remember that tries to bring in that competitive edge you get when working out with friends in the gym. It would have been nice to see some other modes and challenges in multiplayer, though. So that's really the main consistency of this game. You've got some fun intuitive circuits, the strength exercises, cardio exercises, you can customize it, and you can play with your mates as well. Pretty good. So let's look at the icing on top of the cake, shall we? I really like this game aesthetically. It's a stylish anime setting and the character customization is quite interesting. The outfits are slightly disappointing because there's a lot of reskins and just different colors and such, but let's be real, there's more than a little inspiration from the suits in Neon Genesis Evangelion here. I think I made a good attempt at Asuka, Mari and Shinji, as well as a fairly decent Rei here. The events themselves look fun and progress depending on how well you're doing in the exercise. There's heaps to see and do, including rollerblading, skiing, Spider-Man, esque swinging, sonic wall jumping, and just a lot of running as well. They're an engaging backing to the exercise, and by performing them in a daily workout, you'll notice that they have different music and different times of the day present, which is a really neat little touch to avoid it becoming super repetitive. There's a leveling system and unlockables as well locked behind those levels, and that's all well and good. It really creates a kind of gamification of this, as well as the achievement style title list. There is a little bit left to be desired by this mode though. It's essentially your customizations, a couple of titles, and some of the exercises, which I do take a little bit of issue to. It takes all the way to level 58 to unlock every exercise in the game, which is gonna take a considerable while. That being said, I'll never think that it's not a good idea to have this gamification of exercise. I just wish there was a little bit more to the titles than beat this exercise 10 and 30 times and perfect it 10 and 30 times. Fitness Circuit has your standard tracking systems as well. You know, you can see what exercise 
exercise you did on what days you can see how many calories you burnt you can enter your height your weight and you can see your kind of monthly trends three month trends and such like that the options are pretty substantial as well and you can choose between English and Japanese audio which is really cool albeit there is a little bit lacking as far as accessibility options some text sizing options and audio extras would have been lovely but as far as accessibility goes I do want to mention that most of the exercises here can be performed pretty well while sitting down I did test this out if you're looking for a low impact cardio option that you can do whilst being chair bound this is a game I would definitely look into so what is my opinion on fitness circuit overall should you buy it I think if you're looking for something different and effective that is cardio based and doesn't have a lot of bloke to it I reckon that this is a good option for you the effective exercise structure and variety of movement is really good especially if you're a little bit sick of the various boxing based options on switch and want some good varied cardio that you can adapt to what you enjoy the custom mode is cool and being able to set up exercise options with your mates and support groups over the internet is fantastic it does suffer from some notable problems though namely the lack of resistance in the strength exercises as well as the poor motion detection with a fair few exercises making you think you're doing a worse job than you actually are the motion detection issue can be mitigated if you're careful with your hand motion but as far as the strength problem goes there's not really much you can do I'm not going to recommend that you add resistance bands or weights or anything like that even the wrist weights I'm not mad keen on them as a PT so I would say just stick to other exercises from the selection that this game has instead it's really not that many of them that are affected by this issue it's definitely one of the most stylish looking exa games on the switch with a bit of backstory set up for immersion and as I said earlier a gold star for the warm-up and cool down I'm so happy that a game finally nailed it this is one of the most expensive fit this options on the switch at the moment though so check out the demo see if it's something you gel with you can buy it from there and then you can always transfer your save progress over from the demo so you don't lose anything so do you reckon you're going to pick up fitness circuit for the switch let me know in the comments and let me know if there's anything particular that you want to see i do have a few plans for some bits of content including some of those custom playlists so keep subscribed for more information soon. Thanks for watching, thanks to Spike Chunsoft for the opportunity, and thanks to my patrons like Rain for the fantastic support they give through Patreon. I'm Master Trainer Peter, of course, and I'm gonna see you in the next video.